arts lead in the quality of life here in Jacksonville. We have an excellent pool of the creative culture and cultural activities. The Cultural Council is the seat of arts and culture. I like to call it a three-legged stool. Uh, the cornerstone leg is um, we are a quasi-governmental uh, re-grantor of city funds to arts nonprofits. So the Symphony, the Cummer Museum, the Museum of Contemporary Art. The Cultural Council of Greater Jacksonville is a really important partner for the Cummer Museum of Art and Gardens. We actually work together on programs and professional development and art and public places initiatives. We try to use um, art and our historic gardens to engage in issues that are important to our city. The second leg of the stool is uh, art and public places. So uh, by ordinance we take small part of capital improvement projects uh, and invest in public art, permanent public art. We've got really interesting temporary works that are being uh, slapped up on, uh, on buildings right now. In May we dropped a sculpture right in the middle of uh, City Hall. Actually the newest, uh, that's called Muir River and it was done by Rue Arts. That is the 67th piece in our permanent collection and that's a community mural. So. Hundreds of people actually were involved in that. It looks amazing. It's um, arguably the best art under a bridge of all time. And then the third uh, leg of the stool is regranting directly to artists. So privately, uh, we raise funds that we can um, turn around and, and grant to artists and projects. We take a part of the city budget and regrant uh, to those via a year-long sort of rigorous process. Whenever we have to advocate, we have to go and talk to folks. If they're not really sold on the culture argument, then we sell them on the jobs and the economic impact. Arts creates jobs. Arts is bigger than tourism. Arts is bigger than agriculture. Arts is a huge part of our economy. Our job in this office is to be as transparent as possible and get as much citizen uh, interaction as possible. We've got so much going on in art in public places, over a million dollars worth of um, installations. We've got such a deep pool of artists and creativity in this town. It just kind of blows up everywhere and you see it all around. And, and again, it adds to that really excellent quality of life that we have in North Florida.